Today we are going to discuss two kidney gallbladder hypertension. In the last lecture we discussed one kidney gallbladder hypertension and today we are going to discuss two kidney, two kidney gallbladder hypertension. In one kidney gallbladder hypertension we discussed that first of all one kidney is removed one kidney is removed and the second kidney is clamped the renal artery the artery that is supplying the blood to the kidney is constricted or clamped and then uh, after that hypertension develops in the body and that is due to single kidney and because uh, after clamping the renal artery renin secretes which acutely raises the blood and then after some time the due to the effects of renin aldosterone starts retention of salt and water which raises the body fluids and hypertension occurs that is the late rise of hypertension but in two kidney gallbladder hypertension we have both the kidneys intact both the kidneys are there neither of them is removed but one of the kidney is clamped or constricted this part of the renal artery is constricted in just one kidney in this uh, situation the hypertension will occur again because we are discussing the types of hypertensions in which angiotensin is involved so here again uh, we are uh, discussing uh, a two kidney gallbladder hypertension in which angiotensin will be involved once again previously we have also discussed renin secreting tumor and in infusion of the angiotensin which also led to the hypertension and uh, which were also basically types of hypertension due to involvement of angiotensin and broadly we are discussing the role of kidney in regulation of arterial pressure so all our uh, these lectures are in continuation of the role of kidney in regulation of the arterial pressure now coming back to the two kidney gallbladder hypertension when one kidney is clamped and the second kidney is uh, remains intact or normal what happens that due to the clamping of the uh, the renal artery of this kidney the blood flow the, the blood flow in this portion the blood flow in this portion it decreases now if we see the blood flow in the renal artery in the normal kidney is full or normal but here we will see that this has slightly decreased because of the constriction now once the blood flow to the kidney is decreased there will be secretion of renin renin secretion will decrease in this uh, will increase in this kidney because the blood flow to this kidney has dropped the blood flow to the kidney has dropped so renin secretion from the kidney has increased or has jumped up now what the renin will be doing it will basically uh, lead to the formation of angiotensin angiotensin we have discussed how the how the renin basically acts on angiotensinogen and converts it finally into angiotensin 2 and then angiotensin 2 causes vasoconstriction and retention of salt and water now renin is secreted because the blood flow to this kidney has dropped and that renin will act on this kidney and it will cause a uh, retention of salt and water it will cause retention of salt and water and the angiotensin will also cause some degree of vasoconstriction which will lead to the hypertension it will lead to hypertension but this but this renin it will go in the blood and will also act on this normal kidney it will also act on this normal kidney and both these factors like causing the uh, retention of salt and water and vasoconstriction vasoconstriction will occur basically in the systemic blood vessels and the retention of salt will salt and water will occur in the kidneys under the influence of aldosterone and under the direct effects of angiotensin so the renin secreted from this kidney the constricted the kidney in which the renal artery has been clamped 
will go and will affect on this uh, normal kidney and this normal kidney will also start retention of salt and water now this retention of salt in water will also increase the volume of blood which will basically increase the cardiac output which will basically increase the arterial pressure and which arterial pressure remains elevated for a long time it is known as hypertension or high blood pressure because arterial pressure is e equal to the product of cardiac output into total peripheral resistance so basically aldosterone aldosterone that is uh, that is basically activated or secreted with the help of angiotensin helps in the retention of salt and water which basically increases the blood volume which leads to increase in cardiac output and cardiac output uh, when increased will definitely increase the arterial pressure at the same time the angiotensin 2 helps in the vasoconstriction and when vasoconstriction occur in the sy systemic arteries it leads to total peripheral resistance and when total peripheral resistance increases it also increases the arterial pressure this is something which we have discussed again and again in the uh, previous lectures as well so hypertension will occur in two kidney go blood hypertension in this affected or the clamped kidney it will occur because the blood flow has decreased it will occur because it will help it will cause hypertension this kidney will cause help hypertension or it will try to increase the arterial pressure because it will secrete renin because it has decreased blood flow it will try to improve increase the arterial pressure or it will lead to the uh, high blood pressure or hypertension because the blood flow to this kidney has dropped due to the clamping of the renal artery but this kidney will also helps uh, in increasing the arterial pressure and causing hypertension because of the effects because of the effects of renin secreted by this affected kidney there is no decrease there is no decrease in the blood supply to this kidney but still it is helping in the retention of salt and water due to the effects of renin that were secreted by this affected kidney so both of these kidneys are causing the hypertension or contributing to the two kidney go blood hypertension but for two different reasons this kidney is uh, contributing to the hypertension because of the decreased blood flow which basically uh, leads to the secretion of renin and this kidney is uh, contributing to the hypertension or two kidney go blood hypertension because of the renin secreted by this affected kidney so that's all about the two kidney gold blood hypertension thanks a lot for watching the video